Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of my indie game vlog series. And for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you already saw that I talked about season 2 of my indie game vlog series, which would be uh, kind of interactive. Uh, interactive in the meaner, meaning of, I don't know, I ask a question at the end of a video like, should I do it this way or should I do it that way? And you answer me in the comments and I'll do what most of you think would be the best. So yeah, you end up deciding what the game will be like. And yeah, back to this season, season 1. I do done, I've done some work on this game. Not terribly much again, because I'm pretty busy on Slime for 4 at the moment, because as you've seen, if you've seen, uh, my video where I announced the official release date of Slime from 4, which is 15th April 2016. And yeah, that's already pretty soonish, so I'm I'm gonna have to hurry up some, on some things and my schedule is pretty full with uh, Slime Fun 4. Well, anyway, let's get into the game. As you've seen last video, I added a cinematic at the start, which was kind of floating downwards. And yeah, I've changed that. It's now circling around the cube. And as, as you can see, the minimap is gone, the character view is gone, and the timer is frozen. And it also has this flashing text saying tap to start. Uh, I think this way it's way better. And yeah, if you tap your phone, it will obviously start. And yeah, the game mechanic is still the same. By the way, I fixed the issue with uh, the crosshair being slightly delayed, so that's good. And tell me what you think about the new cinematic at the start. And I'm just... Oh, my arrow is gone. How am I supposed to find the finish now? I hope it's here. Because I could... Yeah, there we go. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's also an unwanted cinematic at the end. The camera kind of glitches out, but it has this cool effect. And I kind of want to keep it, but it's a bug. I will keep it, probably. <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty much fine with me. Anyway, uh, the reason I uploaded the Slam Fun 4 video is because, well, Slam Fun 4 has to be polished, polished a little bit before I can release it. Um, as you know, when somebody, a plugin developer in this case, adds a lot of content to the software, the software itself, the backbone of the software, there's always code building up on code and building up on code and I'm already talking about plugins in my in-game vlog series, what is this? Anyway, I need to polish the plugin first, I, it's not at the state where I could release it due to some performance issues. Uh, you won't see those on my server, you might have seen them on some days, but anyway, SlamFun still needs to be optimized a lot. And that's what's taking up most of my time, which is why uh, I can only do a little bit on my game, and the reason why Slamfall Fall is still not released. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to tell you guys about it, and see you next time. Bye!